up? It is Drew here from Lone Fox and today I have a small bathroom makeover for you and guys you are in for a treat with this one. I am absolutely obsessed with the outcome. The before and after of this bathroom is insane. Like I think I mentioned in my last video I typically film my intros right at the beginning but I kind of just dove right into this project and forgot to do an intro so I'm doing it now after the fact that the bathroom is done and I'm also so super thankful because today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty and if you guys don't know I actually worked with them on my last bathroom makeover and you guys loved the products. I literally was like, would you guys like to sponsor another bathroom makeover? Because everyone was obsessed and they were like, yeah, I'd love to. But today's video is such a crazy one. It's gonna be a long one too. So get a cup of tea, get a cup of coffee and a snack. And lastly, before jumping in, if you are not already, make sure to follow me over on Instagram at Lone Fox Home. I'll put it on the screen right here because I literally went through a lot of the design process of this bathroom and asked you guys your questions. So you kind of get a sneak peek at the makeover before it comes out. But this guys is gonna be a long one. So let's rewind back to day one of this makeover. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is what the bathroom looks like before. But as you can see, there's not much walking space in here, so I would definitely consider this more of a smaller bathroom for sure. But it definitely serves its purpose. It has a really nice shower, actually, that has kind of a bench in there. Um, now, we're not going to do much inside of the actual shower area just because it's going to have its own bar here that kind of, like, separates it all from the actual bathroom. And we can't really redo the tile in here anyways. Over here is kind of, like, the toilet area. And there's, like, a good amount of space and good wall space as well and this window is actually really unique i kind of like it how you can pull it down and it opens the slats like that but let me share with you guys the vibe I'm going for in the bathroom. So I have been obsessed with board and batten walls lately, whether it be in a bathroom or a bedroom, but it is essentially the boarding on the typically lower half or it could be full wall. I'm obsessed with this photo here in particular where there's wallpaper mixed with board and batten. So I'm thinking about including both elements with a mixture of brass and natural tones as well, just to finish off the vibe. So the first thing that I want to tackle in here is going to be to redo this vanity. Now we got permission to fully paint the entire vanity. He told us that we can literally paint anything we want, which is super nice. So we're going to be priming this first and then painting the entire vanity to start because this actually needs multiple coats and it needs a 24 hour hard cure in between coats as well. Now the primer that we're going to be using for the base of the vanity is this one by Benjamin Moore. It's the Fresh Start Multi-Purpose Latex Paint. Now this is my first time painting a cabinet and I will tell you guys that it is a lot easier than you might think. I suggest going in with a dry brush of paint so don't apply too much paint to your brush and brushing it into all of the nooks and crannies of the cabinet to start and then covering the full cabinet with the paint then going over the top of it with a foam roller that's really going to smooth out the finish but make sure to go over it while it is still wet that way it smooths everything out and creates a cohesive look. All right guys, so it has been a couple hours since I added the first coat of primer, and now we are gonna go in with the paint. I feel like this is just enough to have it primed at the moment, but the paint, you can't really see the color because it got ripped off because there was paper on top of it while it was drying, but this color is called October Sky by Benjamin Moore. And my friend Xenia on Instagram, which I'll put her Instagram on the screen for you guys, it's Style It Pretty Home, she suggested using the advanced Benjamin Moore interior paint, and I got it in a satin finish, and this is going to be for the cabinets. Basically, this is kind of like more for um, high traffic areas like cabinets or things like that. everyone it is day two of the bathroom makeover and today is one of the most exciting days I feel like because we're adding more paint to the vanity which I already went ahead and did this morning so I added a full second coat to the entire vanity including the drawers all of the edging the side of the vanity and also the drawer or cabinet fronts of the vanity so it now has a second coat I do believe I'm going to be adding a third and possibly even a fourth but today we are going to be painting the walls and I don't know if you guys know the color yet it is very similar to today's sponsor which is function
Function of Beauty. But I'm just super excited. As many of you guys know, I partnered with Function of Beauty on my last bathroom makeover, and you guys were obsessed with the products. I got so many DMs, like, messaging me saying, these products are amazing, I purchased them, I love them so much, and I, too, guys, am a humongous, avid fan of Function of Beauty. Essentially, Function of Beauty allows you to get amazing beauty products delivered right to your door so you, first of all, don't even have to leave your apartment. These are the shampoo and conditioner. I also have the leave-in treatment as well, which I just absolutely love. This is, I think, my third set of Function of Beauty products. The thing I love about this also is it literally says Function of Drew on it, which I think is so cute, so the bottles are personalized. And how you get these is you go onto their website and take a two-minute quiz to kind of determine your hair type, your goals, what you basically want to achieve out of a shampoo and conditioner. There's lots of different things about your current hair texture, um, goals, and like preferences you want to achieve. And the thing that I really love about these products is that you can actually choose the color of the shampoo and conditioner, and you can also choose the fragrance. So I went with the Mandarin Peach scent, which is my favorite one. I went for a mild fragrance. And lastly, these products have no parabens, no sulfates, no toxins, no GMOs, and they are 100% vegan and cruelty-free. So all around, you're putting a ton of natural product in your hair, which your hair is definitely going to thank you for in the end. So these, I just really, really love Function of Beauty products. I've been using them for months now. And if you are interested in checking out Function of Beauty and taking the quiz and creating your own customized hair care products, definitely follow my link in the description box below and you'll get 20% off your first order, which is amazing. Anyways, we're going to go ahead into the bathroom and start with the painting of the pink walls. I'm going to share with you the color, but I'm just really excited because we're also going to be doing a DIY stamp, which is going to kind of turn it into a wallpaper. You're going to see, so let's go in there. Little progress update. As you can see, I applied the second coat to here and it's starting to get much more opaque, but there still is some strickiness in more of this like cutout section here, like the detail section, which is totally fine. Here are the paint colors for the wall. Um, these are Benjamin Moore, Eggshell, Regal Select paints, the same ones that I used in the other room. And this is a light pink shade. This is the darker pink shade. And the light one is called Pink Hibiscus. And the darker one is called Bouquet Rose. So we're actually gonna be painting the entire bathroom with this tone here and then going in after and painting with this tone on top, which you're gonna see. But let's go ahead and start in with the pink. Good afternoon, everybody. Normally, I start off filming right in the morning, but as you might be able to tell, the pink paint is gone and there is a light installed. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a background of basically what happened this morning. So I woke up, I walked into the bathroom and I was like, this pink is just not it. Yesterday, I was literally so for the pink. I was so excited for it. Um, I don't know what happened. I just woke up today and was like, this is not the vibe. Like, I just am not feeling it at the moment. So I ended up kind of brainstorming a couple of new ideas and I have a whole new paint idea. I actually just got back from the paint store and got new paint. Thankfully, I'm just gonna keep that extra pink paint for like future projects. We also have a contractor that we normally contact for like random things. He came and installed the light, which is right here. This is from Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys if you're curious. Um, I'll have to put the orbs and stuff on it still and it's currently plastic wrapped because I went ahead and primed over all the pink because we are actually gonna to be repainting this. I still really am in love with the idea of like the half and half with the uh, board and batten on the bottom and then the color on the top, but the colors have changed. I really wanted to keep in the reality of this bathroom makeover, showing you guys that I painted it pink first, wasn't happy. I primed over it since I had a lot of primer left. And now we're gonna be painting this um, a color called Porcelain by Sherman Williams. I picked it up at Lowe's. I added the full coat on the upper half of the wall with that porcelain paint and I just love this color so much and I love how stark the um, difference is here but it's still very very neutral and then on top of here I'm going to be doing a black stamp which I'll share with you guys once this fully dries. So the paint in the bathroom is now dry and I'm going to start the stamping process which I am most excited for. Now the stamping technique I actually saw on Alexandra Gator's YouTube video. She actually did it in someone's bathroom as well and I thought it was a genius idea. She basically picked up the 
uh, Mr. Clean sponges. I believe that's what they called. This is the actual packaging that it comes in. It's a Mr. Clean magic eraser and you want to get the ones that are actually square like this because they have some that kind of have a squiggly edge on them. You want the square one because we're going to be using this side right here as our stamp and the nice thing about these is that they are super dense so you're going to get good coverage with them. And then the color that I chose, sadly they had no more quartz available at Lowe's. I would have just needed a quart but I got this gallon of black. I figured I can use it later. It is the tricorn black and I got it in a eggshell finish I believe which I think is going to give it a really great wallpaper effect and it's going to be a fraction of the price. All right guys so here's the edge of the sponge and I'm going to basically dip it in the black color like that. I got a, a separate paper plate so I can kind of dab off the extra. Guys, I am obsessed with this wall. How good does that look? It legit looks like a full on wallpaper. So far I've done this wall. Of course we are doing this wall as well and the wall behind me and it's gonna be all behind the entire light as well and it's just gonna look really, really cool. So I love this method that Alexandra did because it's really forgiving too. Um, if you make a mistake, it's easy to fix. You kind of just line everything up and it doesn't have to be perfect at all. And I also love how every single stamp is different from the last. So this is the pattern we're doing all the way around. So cool. It just reminds me of a really graphic bold bathroom. Loving it so far. I've been looking so crazy in my videos, guys, lately. I hope you don't mind. Please don't mind. Good morning guys, it is the next day. Um, as you can see, the paint has dried overnight and I already went ahead and actually removed all of the tape this morning. Um, it was a little bit challenging because a tiny bit of the pink that was originally painted actually kind of bled through on the underside. So I actually just went in and touched up all of the edging with a little bit of porcelain color, which is the underside of the stamping. And overall, the stamping looks amazing. Everything looks super, super clean and nice. I love the way the light looks on top of this. It just looks like that. I also added another coat onto the vanity area and the drawer fronts, which are in the other room. So we're in a good state so far. But today it's going to be installing the board and batten, which is kind of scary because I've never done anything like this before. I absolutely love the way that it looks. If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, you have probably seen this before. So I basically want the look of wallpaper on the upper half of the wall. And then I want a more cleaner, sophisticated look with the board and batten on the bottom half of the wall, if that makes sense. So. That's what we're trying to accomplish today. I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of measuring out some stuff and also removing the towel bar and the toilet paper holder and then we're gonna start the board and batten. Wish me luck, everybody. It has come time for the DIY board and batten. So keep in mind, guys, everyone's bathrooms are a little bit different, so your measurements are not gonna be the same as mine. But I first started off by measuring how high I wanted my board to be for the top of the board and batten. And I cut that out using a miter saw and applied some construction adhesive to the backside just to allow me to press it against the wall and then use a level to make sure that it is perfectly straight on the wall. But then this happened to occur. 
So I pulled out my brad nailer and I nailed this to the wall and that's just basically gonna hold it in place while the construction adhesive dries and also act as an extra stability factor. And next what you're gonna wanna do is measure out your next pieces. So I actually went around the entire perimeter of the bathroom and did all of the top piece of the board and batten to start or like the top, the highest most point I guess you could say or the horizontal piece. And then I applied all of the vertical pieces after these were installed because I find that it's a lot easier to cut the vertical pieces to match up with the horizontal pieces rather than vice versa just because sometimes it just won't match up perfectly so you're just going to apply some construction adhesive on the back side and use your brad nailer or nail gun to nail it into the wall to make sure it's nice and secure so far so good i have the board running all the way around the whole exterior of the bathroom here's a piece here there's a piece that kind of goes behind the mirror here and then also a piece that goes here. I have to cut one more tiny little sliver to go right there. And then basically we're gonna be adding the batten pieces which are gonna go up and down. Um, this is the board, then we add the batten like this. So we're gonna be adding the up and down pieces now that are gonna be connecting from the baseboard to our board here. So now we're going to want to create our vertical pieces. So I'm doing the same thing and measuring each piece as I go and bringing it out to the miter saw and cutting it as I need to. And then I'm using my level construction adhesive and nail gun to attach it to the wall. Now we are going to be using some caulking later to fill in any gaps or crevices. So if pieces don't exactly meet up perfectly, do not worry because it's an easy fix with paintable caulking afterwards. So I just basically nailed these all into the wall, make sure that they were all nice and straight and secure. And I let it dry for just a a couple of hours before moving on to the next step. Oh my gosh, guys, we're adding the last piece, which goes under the mirror. The board and batten is completely installed around the entire perimeter of the bathroom. Honestly, this only took about an hour and a half or so to do. It was pretty simple and quick, but I did have to make another Lowe's run to pick up some more wood. But overall, it looks amazing. Now, everything basically from this board down, including all of the trim, is now going to be painted Chantilly Lace by Benjamin Moore. The same five gallon bucket, literally right there, that we've been using on the entire apartment, but that's just gonna brighten up this whole bottom half. I do also wanna mention that I went in and added a little bit of lightweight spackle over all of the little holes. That way, once I'm able to sand them just slightly, the paint will go on perfectly smooth and everything will look kind of like one piece. So this is where you finish it all off and make it look perfect. So I'm using a paintable caulking and I'm caulking it down everywhere that the wood is going to be attached to the wall essentially and using my finger sort of to just maneuver out any of the excess caulking. That way you don't have a lot of excess in there. This is going to make a super smooth and clean finish and your finger really provides like a nice kind of curve for it to smooth out and finish off the edges. So I even applied it to pieces like this where that you really could tell that it was not lined up correctly, but you just pipe a little bit of the caulking in there, use your finger to wipe away the excess. And then when you paint this after it's fully dry, it just looks like one completed piece. So it was super simple and easy and I highly suggest doing this part. All right, guys, as you can probably see, based on my hair, I already went ahead and started painting this morning. Last night, I actually, when I got home from dinner, I primed over all of the, like, black sections that were inside of here. That way, today, when I added the first coat of white, it would look really good and crisp. And it's already, with one coat, looking amazing. As you can see, the contrast is so just there now. Before I feel like it was almost lost, but now with the really stark white and then kind of like the tannish black wallpaper vibe, it looks so good and it was a little bit challenging to paint, but not too hard. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the second coat of white in here, let that dry, and then it is decorating time. So I will probably see you at decorating time once this has a second coat on it.
So something else I actually had to do for this space was create a custom shower curtain. So I actually picked this one up from Target. It's one of the new Casa Luna pieces, which is just stunning. The fabric is so amazing, but it comes in a 72 by 72 inch square, which is your traditional shower curtain size. However, we need a skinnier, longer piece. So I essentially cut off uh, the bottom third of it, and then I sewed it on to the opposite edge to make it longer. And then I also made it skinnier as well and attached it to a tension rod I found on Amazon. And that finished off the shower curtain. It looks literally perfect in this space. Alrighty guys, so the bathroom is complete. I just added all the finishing details and I think it just came out absolutely incredible. I think I've only done around three bathroom makeovers in my life and I have to say this bathroom makeover is definitely my favorite one for sure. It is so fun and different and just like unique but still has so much like character and it functions perfectly as a bathroom of course. I am just so excited with the outcome of this bathroom and I am really, really happy to reveal it to you guys. So let's go ahead and reveal the bathroom in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, guys, wasn't, isn't it look, I don't even know, I have no words, I have literally no words, I am absolutely obsessed with the outcome of this bathroom, and I hope that you guys love it too, it is so fun and playful, but it still has like that neutral palette, I love the mixture of like uniqueness, and it almost has like this vintage vibe to it as well, there's just something about this space I absolutely love, and I think that our DIY stamped wallpaper situation really created such an impact, and the freaking board and batten, I don't even know how I did that, but I did it! Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. This was a six-day process makeover, and it was well worth it for sure. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post brand new DIY and home decor content and makeovers every single week here on the channel. And I also want to thank Function of Beauty so much for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with them in the past, and I absolutely love their brand, and I'm a huge fan of their customized shampoo and conditioners. I even placed it on top of the toilet here. So cute. And if you guys would like to get your own as well, definitely use the link in the description box below to get 20% off of your order. And last but not least, I actually created a blog post around this entire bathroom makeover. So if you guys would like more in-depth detail, um, links, a better look at some of the details in here through photos, I'm going to have a lot more detailed pictures and like some wording and all that sort of stuff about this bathroom makeover. I'll link that in the description box for you guys. But that is about all. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will catch you guys all in my next one. Bye guys!